Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have been somewhat of a stranger here on YouTube, but we are back scrapping backwards. Um, so what I've basically done is for January, I'm continuing with my Christmas kit. Because you might not have noticed, well you have noticed because I've had no videos, but I didn't really do any scrapping in December. I kind of just needed to step back from it actually, I just wasn't feeling it. And sometimes you can't force the scrap in, so I didn't do any. I think I did three pages or whatever it was. And since then I've had a major sort out, got rid of loads and tidied and organised and here we are. Um, so I'm cutting back a lot of things and I'm refocusing a lot of things, but scrap backwards is one where I definitely want to be. So that's what we're doing today. You can see that I've sort of had a play around already. We're going to create this page now and I'm doing two but it'll be two videos because I started playing with this one and I love it as well. So what I basically did is chose my bits and pieces and then as the name suggests backwards went to look for a photo and with this one if I just take some of these very busy elements away you know more is more that has not changed if we just get rid of all of this so I started with this cut file. This was my starting point for this layout. I have quite a few Christmas cut files. Where are they? That I've spent a bit of time back in whilst I've not felt like scrapping, but still want to do a little bit of something. So we've got a couple of these coming at us. So I'm going to use these for some scrap backwards with my Christmas kit. Now my Christmas kit is basically my Christmas stash, rather than building a kit. So I started with that. The thing that I have added into it is Vicky Boot in Evergreen and Holly. Now whilst this is a new collection, the whole collection kit was actually gifted to me um, for the Vicky Boot in class. And whilst I am doing a bit of that, I'm not doing it all. So I decided to dive into it for some paper because this cut file reminded me of this paper in Evergreen and Holly and I kind of want to use it together so that's what we're going to do. So I've backed the letters, Merry. I have done some prep because I'm out of practice with videos guys so it's not going to be a long waffling one we're just going to get down to it and do the assembly rather than start to finish just as I try and get back into it a little bit so yeah, this is the Merry Cut file, and I've backed this paper onto this paper, and that's where we're at. So for this, I am going to put adhesive on the letters, just like this, and I've used an assortment of papers. So I've used some Carter Bella paper on this one, because I've backed about five cut files. Do you know when you just want a little bit of creative time, but you're not feeling creative in the slightest? Um, so we've got a Vicky Booting paper and a Carter Bella paper, and I'm going to pop it on down here. There we go. Just like so, and I'm not going to pop the... I'm not going to adhesive the adhere all the floral elements. We're going to have them sticking up like that, so it is really, really dimensional. And that's what I just loved about this cut file. Now, I believe this cut file is from Confessions of a Paper Addict, don't quote me, but I'm sure it is. I think a lot of the ones that I'll be using are... Excuse me, needed a drink there. And then I've also got these couple of pieces from JD3D, these were from their Christmas release. So we're going to add this on as well. So I'm just going to add a bit of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive on here. It's a very thin one, so it's not the best for applying adhesive, but as long as you apply it in a few places, you'll be fine. Because it's the outline, I love the font though. So, you can't have everything. So, try and get this up without getting the glue all over myself. And I'm going to pop this down here, like so. So I'm just going to have to hold that for a minute, just because there isn't much adhesive on there. 
There we go. And then I also have a white Christmas tree. So this year, JD3D released a lot of titles. And then inside, you've either got a tree or a star or something along those lines. Which I think is a really good idea because then you're getting a couple of scattering pieces and your title. So I'm going to put a tree over there. And whilst I'm here, I've got a couple of wood pieces from Colorcast Designs. Like, how amazing are these stockings? So these were from last year, well, last, last year now, 2021, when I did some shopping in their Black Friday sale, and my lovely friend acted as the post person. They are self-adhesive wood, which I really love. I, you don't see that very often, and it just makes your life so much easier. So I want to put a couple of them there, and I'm sticking them onto the foliage, so that that still sticks up a little bit as well. And while we're down here, from the Vicky Boot in Evergreen and Holly Christmas album kit, there was mistletoe and no mittens and mistletoe ephemera as well. And this cute guy was in it, and I want to use that. So what I'm going to do for that, if I can get this to work, can't even work the blooming uh, adhesive. I'm going to tuck him in down here, basically, for no other reason but for a bit of a cute effect. And then we've also got a wood strip that says, love this tradition, Merry Christmas, there, and we're going to pop that there. Doesn't go in with our title, it's just a subtitle, if you will. And then I do have Merry Christmas Wonder, I did think, but I don't like that. So we'll see what we do with that. And then it's just a case of building, but I just love how that cluster looks at the bottom of that paper. I think it just works really well. And you can still see the foliage and the greenery peeking through underneath here. And I just think it looks, I love it. So my photo is just a photo of our tree. This was our tree last year which is a bit silly, thought it was this year's, but there we go. So I'm going to pop this underneath our cut file ever so slightly, just so it doesn't show here. There we go, try and get that square on. And I just, I love the photo with that, and it's also got a pop of blue, just to bring in a bit of variety, because we do have a bit of blue on some of the other elements. And... I then want to use this now. I could have used it as some hidden journaling, but to be honest, I don't really need to say much, so I'm not going to. And that's going to go just here. So it looks like there's a bit of hidden journaling going on, but really, there isn't. And then I did think we could have a tag up here. Let's have a look. Now, I am cutting that tag apart, but... 2023 for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it is the year of using your stash, basically. I'm not buying much at all, because things change, and if the last few weeks have taught me anything, it's taught me that you don't need all the things, so no longer will I be the one getting everything. The only thing I have actually got lately is the new Simple Stories pet collection because it's a dog collection and I have tons of dog photos and it was cute. And that's the only one. I've got Vicky Bootins, I was gifted her print shop collection so I've already got that for her class. And I probably will get her new collection. But other than that, I'm going to try and make this year the year of the stash. So I want my channel to be focused on using up your stash, basically. Okay, so that is going to go there. Again, you can't pull the tag out. It's just for decorative element. But I like that I've got the twine that sticks up. Makes this page super, super interactive. And I've got a couple more wood pieces from Colourcast. So we've got traditions, 
and we've got magic. And I like this, I think that is a, the tag and that is actually from Pinkfresh Studio. So I like that I'm using different brands, which is what we do. So what I love about Scrap Backwards, we just go diving in our stash and see what we can pull out. Then I've got this border of presents, which I am, I was undecided, but I think we will use it. Just brings in this fun blue colour and different shades of blue, uh, red and green. So that's going to go there. And I don't mind that it covers a bit of my picture. This is cute as well from Vicky's ephemera pack. I know this video is very much just watching me put a layout together rather than traditional scrapping shall we say but it's my first one so i didn't want to overwhelm myself now when i say it's my first one it's my first one in a long while but i will be doing scrap backwards every week and i'll also be using it in other videos as well to try and use up kits from february onwards for this month, just to get myself back on here and to get some Christmas scrapping done because I love it, we're just going to stick with our Christmas kit, which isn't a kit as such, as I said, it's just my Christmas stash, which is only one IKEA desk storage box for embellishments and a fridge storage tray. But then I've got 12 Western boxes full of paper, so I've got a lot to use, guys. <laughs> okay, now I was going to put that up there, but we don't need it now. Same for this, I don't think we need that now. I do want to use a final colour cast designs piece, because then I've used a few of them on here, which is brilliant. need to decide where see I was gonna put that here let's do it okay that's gonna go there and I don't think we need much more I do have the chipboard the sticker sheet and I basically have the whole collection here I love some of these elements so much Vicky's done so amazing what about a hoe up here? Why not? You can use one hoe, can't you? Yep. And then a couple of these, and I think that's going to do it. So, let's use... I'm going to stick a couple of stickers on our cut file which I do love to do. It sort of brings the cut file into the page. If that makes sense, it sort of brings it all together. So we've got Remember, Holiday Joy and Decorate. And then we'll just use a couple of these little stars as enamel dots. Let's pop three there. And I think that's probably gonna do it. That's probably one of my quickest ever layouts, but I did do a bit of prep because, as I say, out of practice. Need to practice, guys. The other thing I do have here, actually, is a couple of the JD 3D stars, so I will add a couple of them just to finish off. So let's add one here. And let's add one here. Love that. I'll even add this teeny tiny one. Just there. And that's going to do it for this layer. I don't need journaling. It's just a picture of our Christmas tree, which is very self-explanatory. 
I just love the dimension that I've got going on on this layout. It's a bit of a quirky one, a bit of a full one, a bit of an OTT one, but I like it and that's all that matters. And I will be back tomorrow with this layout, which I have already started with these branding strips and washi tape. And we're going to use lots of old stash, such as an old Bella Boulevard chipboard piece, or Simple Stories, I think, and some old Pebbles tags. So come back tomorrow for that, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out what the lovely Cathy has been up to, and I will see you all next week for the, our official Scrap Backwards video. But I'll see you throughout the week with a couple more. Thank you for watching. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a very happy new year. And I look forward to scrapping with you in 2023. And I hope you all have a very happy, scrappy year ahead. Bye for now.